All right, guys, we have the little bee yard. Right here, we've got our regular Langstra hive uh, tin. We've got a deep, we've got a small, um, and the top. This thing's painted, it's ready to go. I was gonna use this today, however, uh, it's been raining. And what does that have to do with putting bees in this box? Well, it means that a lot of the nectar has been washed off of flowers Therefore, these bees are hungry. So what I'm doing is I'm using my insulated AP May. Um, what's gonna happen with this, it's exactly the same as in here, but it's got some, you know, little doodads, bells and whistles. I'm not gonna go through this entire thing. Um, I definitely don't want the queen to leave. So I'm gonna put in just the regular little guy. Uh, I don't really want them leaving right now, so I'm gonna close the latches. They've got ventilation. Bees can get out if they need to. Uh, I'm going to open the ventilation on this side, so this thing's fully vented. These are always a pain. Alright, so what we have here, and the reason I'm using these is these guys. These are feeders that sit on top and will allow the bees to um, eat and feed as they need. As you can see in here, right, I've got my frames and then I'm going to drop, uh, this is a, a seven frame. Um, I've got five actually coming in, so that's what it's going to look like, all right. Um, five frames will go in here and then I've got two on the side for them to fill out. And eventually I'm going to put another super on top of this, all right. You guys are sitting on my cart right now. Okay, so what I've decided to do first is fill these uh, uh, feeders with the sugar water or syrup. Um, it was provided by uh, the supplier, the bee supplier, uh, because of the fact that there was no rain. So wasn't really expecting some syrup feed, but it came and they're gonna be hungry, so we're gonna use it. What I should have done is have a cup to uh, pour this into, but lesson learned for next time. Now, I'm doing this right now first because it's really a pain to get these tops back on the correct way. I think I might have it. aren't going on like they're supposed to. So this is why it's always important to have a Gerber and or um, tool, B tool on you. Driver to pry this out. So this is why I did this first because I knew this was going to be a pain um, and I didn't want to interrupt the process 
while I had bees in an open box. It's 69 degrees right now. Um, not bad temperature, but bees like really warm weather, so uh, they're not going to be too excited about that. All right. Okay, so this is the uh, the big moment. We're about to open this guy up. Um, on the next video, I will show you more of this process and I'll probably have somebody here helping me uh, do the recording for this one. Uh, it's just gonna be the first video and we're gonna go for it. So here we go. Hi guys, how you doing? inspection they're not super thrilled about what I'm doing uh, we got some honey and the worker bees working I found the queen, she's right here, she's up in the top, right there. Alright, so we have a healthy queen in this hive, that's awesome. 